Alright guys, I wish it was under the best, uh, better circumstances that we would uh, be gathered here today. Uh, first of all, my name is Lawrence and I'm uh, the college ministry pastor at the church across the street. And I have been praying for you guys and for the circumstances that have brought us here together for a long time. I pray that God will, in this moment, give me a word that will be able to use to comfort you. Uh, although I know that it's difficult and that we have lost a friend, a brother, a cousin, a boxing mate. But in this moment, I believe that God wants to still give us comfort because we know that he is in a better place, that both of them are with the Lord. Right, but we need to pick up and carry on. So I just want to read two scriptures real quickly. The first one from, being from the Old Testament and the next one being from the New Testament. So if you guys can just follow along as I read. Uh, this is from 2 Samuel 12, 10. He says, Then David, on the seventh day the child died. David's servants were afraid to tell him that the child was dead, for they thought the child was still living. We spoke to David, but he would not listen to us. How can we tell him that the child is dead? He may do something desperate. David noticed that his servants were whispering among themselves. He realized that the child was dead. Is the child dead, he asked. Yes, they replied, he is dead. Then David got up from the ground. After he had washed, put on lotion, and changed his clothes, he went into the house of the Lord in worship. Then he went to his own house, and his request they serve him food, and he ate. Then his servants asked him, Why are you acting this way? When the child was alive, you fasted and wept. But now that the child is dead, you get up and you eat. Then David said, and I want you guys to pay attention to these words. David said, he said, While the child was still alive, I fasted and I wept. I thought, who knows, the Lord may be gracious to me and let the child live. But now that the child is dead, why should I fast? Can I have bring him back again? But instead, I will go to be with him. He will not return to me. And David comforted his servants with these words because he knew that although he would not be able to bring back the child to be with him, he would one day die and also be with his child. 